Hi everyone, this is a quick video to show you how you can log in to Teams and also how you can access all of our kindergarten files. Now this is going to be a general uh, video for all of ki all kindergarten scholars, seeing as we are going to have access to all of the same files. I'm just going to show you how to navigate that today. So when we talk about signing in, we're going to type in the number that was given by your homeroom teacher. If you still do not have their user ID, then please go ahead and reach out to your homeroom teacher to get that. So this is the number that I'm going to be using today. And we're going to, for the login, we're going to do at ideastudent.org. Okay, so the phone number, I mean, not the phone number, I'm sorry, the user ID, user ID at ideastudent.org. Then you're going to click next. Now this, um, may look a little different because I'm signing in from a desktop or from a laptop, but it looks, it's very similar. The ID and the um, password will be the same either on your app or on your computer. If you have the app on the computer or if you have the app on your phone. So user ID at ideastudent.org. Then you're going to click next. For the password, you are going to type capital I lowercase d, lowercase e, lowercase a. So it's going to be idea, but the capital, the letter i will be capital. Idea with a capital i. And then you're going to draw, you're going to write their birth date. So it's going to be two digit month, two digit day, two digit year. So for example, if it was um, my login, then I would put 0613 Eight, four. So I'm going to go ahead and put this student's login information. Sign in. All right, it may ask you if you want to stay logged in and you can do that. I'm just choosing no because I'm only doing this for the purpose of this video. Now this is what your screen will look like. Um, you will have a few tabs up here. It will automatically go to Teams, which is where you will go. For right now, you don't have to worry about any other tab. So right now you're on Teams automatically. You're going to go into Kinder Idea Kyle. Click on it. Here you will see different tabs. So you'll see general DI, which is reading, ELA, which is wit and wisdom, math, which is Eureka, science and spelling tabs. So as you can see here on the general tab, you see somewhat of a chat room. Now you can see that there are different tabs up at the top, like posts, files, class, notebook, assignments, grades, things like that. You don't have to worry about that right now. So um, I, I do like that a lot of parents are posting their hellos on here. I love this. This is so cute and funny. Um, now we do want to make sure that we are not posting in this chat room because we have we if you have any questions please reach out to your child's homeroom teacher for general questions and if you have a question based on content please refer to the teacher for that content so for example um, if your child is in my class and you would reach out to me for a general question but if it's concerning math then you will reach out students that I have in my math class um, will be reaching out directly to me for math since all of the files here are combined. Um, so let's get started with the chat. Just talking really quickly, let's try not to have conversations in the chat room so that we don't get any important messages lost. We will not be checking these messages in the group because we do have other way, other forms of communication. Some teachers have ID, um, ID, uh, Instagram profiles for their class, some have Facebook, some have neither. So please be sure to reach out to your teacher rather than post in the, um, in the chat. So let's get started with DI or reading. We're going to click on DI. So let's talk first about how often we will do DI. You will do your child will do DI lessons Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays is when they will do their DI lessons, which means they will watch a video and work on their packet. So um, now that I'm in DI, I clicked it. There's also a chat here. Again, please do not type in the chats. Teachers may post, post something, they may address their students, um, it may be like an announcement, but please um, refrain from typing in here as we don't want all of your messages to get lost in each of these rooms that you will see. So don't worry about posts here, this will be specifically for teachers. So you're going to go to, well you, you clicked on DI, you're going to go directly to files. You will always go straight to files. 
you will see that each of our names are on this uh, list right here. So these are the folders that you will click on it depending on who your who teaches your child reading. Some students have a different homeroom teacher and a different reading teacher. So make sure that if your child is in Ms. Garza's homeroom, but she comes to me or he comes to me for reading, make sure you're clicking my name when it comes to reading. Um, so let's get started with taking a look at the information. Let's go ahead and click on my name so we can take a look at what I have. I do have a video for, for a video, I'm sorry, videos for sound practice. This is something additional that I added. Um, every teacher uh, may, every teacher's file may differ, but you don't have to worry about looking at other teacher's information or files. Go straight to your child's teacher. The uh, If you click on this, I pinned it up at the top so that you can be able to see that there are two videos to practice sound. So if your child um, is in Lesson 98, like some of us, some of the students have already finished Lesson 98, you can use these sounds to go over, um, to go over, to get some sound practice. If your child has gone up up to 100, lesson 139, then you can see the following video. We don't want to expose um, students to sounds that they have not learned yet, so that way it doesn't confuse them. So um, this is just specifically for um, for my reading groups. Again, every teacher may have different um, options or different files. So I have my three groups here, Texas A&M, University of California, and Pomona. If my scholar is in Texas A&M, I'm only going to click on Texas A&M and each lesson is already dated so um, make sure that you're looking at the date so because we're going to start on monday i see that i my child is in texas a m so i will click on 3 30 march 30th because that's the lesson i will do that day so that's the one that i'm going to do on monday click on it and watch the video if you have the packet already and that we will be distributing them soon and we'll send a message on that if you have the packet go ahead and get started on the on the um on the paperwork or the worksheets for lesson for that lesson only please please only complete one lesson um per day so again every group will have this uh, a format similar to this again it may vary depending on your teacher um, but it will be very similar to this where there'll be the date that they the date will be assigned for the for each particular lesson so since you they're going to do this lesson on Monday Wednesday they will do um, this lesson which is April 1st April 3rd April 6th and so on so remember direct instruction for reading will be done only Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays that's the only time you will access these files Let's move on to Wit and Wisdom. Okay, so Wit and Wisdom um, will be done Monday through Friday. So you're going to go directly to the Files tab again. Again, I, just like I wanted to mention, teachers will post announcements here, just like Ms. Garza has already posted um, um, She's already posted a note specifically for Gar's, for her class and for Ms. Rivera's class. So sometimes you may see, um, you may see announcements from your teacher or you might see them from the other ELA teacher. So please, please, please be aware that the, the assignment that is being posted by each teacher, make sure that it's your child's teacher. So um, again, I, I do see some conversation going on here. We may be able to clarify for you here if you have questions regarding your particular, um, your teacher for this, for this subject, please reach out directly to the teacher, not in the chat room. Make sure that you let the, that you ask the teacher via Remind um, in order for us to be able to get that message to you or that answer to you quickly. So again, once you get into your content, in this case it's going to be Wit and Wisdom, it'll be Monday through Friday, you're going to go directly to Files. You will go to your teacher, so if uh, Ms. Macias teaches your child Wit and Wisdom, you would click on this one. If Ms. If Ms. Garza teaches your child, then you would click on this link. Let's go into my link. So um, both classes actually have the same assign the same work so far. So both of them have this. You will open it up, and it's a as you can see, it's a PDF file. This is going to be the work for 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 that given day. Now let's move down to math. 
So um, again, only teachers will be posting here. It may be myself or it may be Miss Rivera that will be posting into the chat. Please do not post any type of conversations. Uh, we do want to keep this specifically for announcements if need be and make sure that if you see Miss Rivera posting an announcement that is specifically for her class, only for her students. And if you see me posting an announcement, it'll be specifically for my students unless otherwise noted. Um, so then we'll go ahead and go into files, as I said, as I've been saying, for each and every content. Once you click on the content link, you go straight to files. That's where you'll find the files you need. Let's look into my files. This is, um, I teach Miss Macias class math, so we'll go into those files. I have labeled these files by date. I have also set them, uh, I have also set them up with, um, uh, in numerical order, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are all the lessons starting from lesson 30 to 38. Math will also be Monday through Friday, just like Wit and Wisdom. So please remember that you will be doing a lesson a day for math and for Wit and Wisdom. Please do not go beyond a lesson a day so that we can stay on schedule. Um, we will always be on the same exact schedule, so if you move ahead, we won't be able to um, accommodate or answer your questions until we reach that um, that particular day okay so make sure that you're doing one lesson a day again as you can see here we see that uh, on Monday we'll be doing lesson 30 on Wednesday April 1st we'll be doing lesson 31 uh, and so on and so forth let me go ahead and click on the first uh, lesson which is Monday you will see a video and this is the video that you're, you will play your scholar. It's interactive with your scholar, so I would personally suggest that maybe you play the video for them and just check up on them every five to ten minutes if possible. Um, you may not have to stick to sit uh, directly with them for these videos, but if you feel, you know your child, so if you feel like your child might need a little bit more support, then please feel free, and if you are able to, please feel free to sit with them throughout the entire video, pause the video, and interact with the video as well um, to make sure that they're doing the work that they're supposed to be doing also. So this is for math. Uh, Miss Rivera will have um, her own files as well. So she's already posted for, for, the, for March 30th, which is for Monday. She also has a file for math worksheet. So like I said, teachers' uh, teachers' files will vary, so make sure that you only look at your teacher's file so that you do not get confused about what you should be doing. So again, DI will be done Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You're going straight to files to get the files that you need from your teacher. Um, ELA and math will be done Monday through Friday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You will go directly to files and find your teacher and get your file for the day, get your lesson for the day. Now, science will be done Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There, you're going to go again directly to files. And it looks like it's taking a little bit to load on my end. So in this case, all of the, all of the videos will be in this one folder. So all videos will be shared. Um, let me see if there's anything in here yet. I do see that there are some. Yeah, so they will also be shared per um, learning day. So since they will be done Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as you can see, there's they're already labeled for Monday the 30th, Wednesday the 1st of April, and Wednesday the th um, Friday the 3rd of April. So you will click on each tab, that on each um, link for each particular day. Spelling. Spelling will be done only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Remember what we said about posting. Um, let's not post unless the teacher is posting here for announcements. Let's try to leave it so that we don't bombard one another with um, messages and that way we don't miss any important messages on there. Please, again, remember to message your teacher directly for any questions. So spelling will be done Tuesdays and Thursdays. You'll go to files. You'll go to your child's spelling teacher. So for example, Miss V um, is my co-teacher and she's the one that does spelling. So if your child is in my classroom or she had or she or he has spelling with Miss V, then you would click on her link and then you will find the lessons here. They will be videos that will be posted. So let me give you a quick overview. So all of the you're gonna be in teams, you're gonna go straight to Kinder Idea Kyle. Um, you are going to go straight to the content that you want to work on first. So if you're going to do DI, you're going to DI, then files, ELA, and then files, math, files, science, and spelling, and so on. 
di and um di and science will be monday wednesday and friday um wit and wisdom and math will be monday through friday and spelling will be tuesdays and thursdays thank you for watching have a great day